What is going on, everybody on YouTube? I am your boy Wes, and this is Kicks from Wes. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Tap that little bell so you'll be notified when I post videos and go live on YouTube. And if you like the content that I'm putting out, by all means, smash that like button. It helps out the channel. And you know I definitely would appreciate it. So, welcome back to another video. And today, from the title and the thumbnail, you see that I was able to secure a PS5. But before we get into all of that, I got some very special news to share with you guys in regards to this channel right here. I know I've been bringing you guys Funko Pop videos and Pokemon card openings, but I feel like I'm going to be changing this back to just a sneaker channel. This is only going to be sneaker related content moving forward in the future. And I decided to make a second channel that I'm going to be doing Funko Pops and Pokemon card openings on that channel. That channel is going to be called West Collects. Here is a little brief logo. That I drew up last night uh, before heading out to work. But I still need somebody to tweak it for me. So if you are a graphic designer, someone who makes logos, whatever the case may be, leave a comment down in the comment section, an email or your IG where I could reach you. We could conversate, you know what I mean? Because I'm looking for somebody to spruce this logo up better than what it is right now. So if you are a graphic designer, once again, leave your email or your IG handle down in the comment section so I can contact you and we can work something out and you know what I mean I can bring you guys the new logo for the West Collects YouTube channel that's exactly what it's gonna be called and on that channel we're doing Funko Pops and we're doing Pokemon cards this channel here will remain a sneaker channel and only sneaker related content whether that's news unboxings rumors um even clothes, I'm going to be bringing some clothes onto this channel as, as regards to how to match your fits with your shoes, you know what I mean? Certain types of shirts and stuff. You know me, I'm always particular about how my shirts got to match my shoes or how things match in a sense because I worked in the fashion industry for over five years. So I got a sense and taste on putting things together and making things pop and making them look, you know what I mean, a certain way. And that's just a little experience that I got. And I wanted to share you guys uh, with that news right there. So hopefully you guys subscribe to that channel when it becomes available. It should be coming up by the beginning of the new year. I want to give that the latest uh, for this goal right here as far as making that channel. Because I want to have everything as far as the banner and uh, the logo and everything made. And everything just laid out perfectly for that channel. So stay tuned for the news when I say that. That channel is live and ready to go. You'll see it. I will leave it the link in the description for you to go click on that there. Now, let's get into some of the things that I picked up from out of Hot Topic and GameStop before we get into this PS5 crazy story or whatever the case may be. First up, we stopped in Hot Topic and here was some footage of that. Um, I took the sound off because they were playing loud music. I don't want to get a copyright strike, so... Just enjoy the bureau. see in Hot Topic they had um, some variety of Funko Pops that I was looking for and believe it or not I actually found a chase in the wild man my first chase found in the wild and you would not believe what pop it was we just watched this movie the other day uh, my family and I bang bang check it out man and I know uh, this wasn't seen on the clip that was shown, and the reason being was because I could not hold the camera at the same time as I was scouring through the shelves. This pop here was set behind a few pops. Uh, 
when I was looking through things, because I was looking for the Santa Claus Joker. As y'all know, I got the Batman here and the Joker as Jack Frost. So I was looking for the Santa Claus Joker because I wanted the rest to complete uh, the set out of that out of that set right there. And I found this chase right here. So first chase in the wild, man. Definitely happy to add this to the collection. Uh, my wife and my oldest daughter, they like this movie a lot. So I wound up watching it with them. And it's just crazy just to find this in the store, you know, the time that I did. So this is going to be the first one right here. And then it was buy one, get one free. And I wind up helping uh, my guy Rudy that's in the Funko Pop group with me uh, secure one of the common versions of that Funko Pop there. And then I went ahead and grabbed the Penguin as the Snowman to go with the DC Superheroes Holiday Collection. So they didn't have the Holly Quinn that I was looking for at that Hot Topic. They did have the Batman, but I did not grab him at the time because they had so many in stock. They had a gang of them in stock. So I was like, I'll come back and look for that and see uh, if I can save a little money on that later down the line. So yeah, check out Penguin as the Snowman. He is the other pop that I wound up getting out of Hot Topic. Happy to add him to the collection. And he looks dope, man. Definitely looks dope. Put me in the holiday spirit. Christmas is a couple of days away. Now, well, not a couple of days, but a lot of days away. And then next up, we had, uh, I got this from one of my guys, Dan the Dabber. Go check him out on Instagram. We did a trade, and he gave me Sideshow Bob. You know, check that out. Funko Shop exclusive. I was not able to get Sideshow when he dropped on the Funko Shop. And this is the rest of the collection that you can collect on the back. Will I be going after the rest? Uh, probably not. Just one or two that's on there. But I like Sideshow Bob, man. He always tried to uh, kill Bart Simpson and Lisa for the most part. You know, I remember those episodes like they happened yesterday. So I'm happy to add Sideshow to the collection. And that is what I found in Hot Topic. Now, let's check out this clip of what I found in GameStop. All right, so we at the next stop. Now waiting in line and go inside GameStop. And go see what steals and deals they got up in here. I wind up getting something out of Hot Topic. You guys will see that when I get back to the studio. So for now, I just got to wait because they only letting 10 people in the store at a time. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm inside the store. All right, so we just got in GameStop. There was a little line. See what Funko Pops they got in stock that I will potentially buy. I know over here on this table is the mystery box. I will be buying that. So let's go check that out right now. Here is uh, what you can get for $20. So I'm going to scoop up one of these. Hopefully I can get the thing because that's the one I want. But if not, still in all, uh, we will see what's inside the box. So let's see what they got over here. Anything in particular. Hot Topic did not have the Ninja Turtles that I was looking for. So I did not grab those because they were out of stock. And... Are you streaming right now? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Say what up. Say what up. What's up, guys? How are you doing? All right. So, yeah. Uh, let's go see what else they got around here. You got these right here. I'm not seeing too much. And they got some uh, Marty with the laptop right there. Batman joint. It's probably beat up. But yeah. I'll look around and see what else. There's not too many in stock. Stuff right there. And stuff right here. So I don't really. They got Superman. I was looking for Joker for the Christmas Pops, but don't see that one, so it's not there. So, yeah. Going to look around. Also, on this side, see what they got for Pokemon. I see a Orbital V-Box up there. 
and that's it. All those other stuff is trash. I ain't even gonna be bothered with that. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Go ahead and look at some games for the kids and then see you guys back in the studio. Now GameStop, they didn't have too much, but I did pick up, as you saw from the clip, one of the Marvel's mystery boxes. I wanted to see if I can get the thing out of this one, the Venomized thing. Uh, there was four pops that you can get out of these boxes right here. So I wound up picking up this one here and I wound up grabbing this t-shirt that I got on right now. This was $9. All the t-shirts was $9 in the store. And this was one that I was able to find. I would have liked to grab. There was a Batman t-shirt that had all the different Batmans on it. But... Uh, they did not have my size and I'm not going to go one size up in a t-shirt knowing that it's going to be too big for me because I like my shirts to fit a certain way. So I left that in the store and I grabbed this here. So we're going to open this up right now. See if I get the thing or the human torch. That's another dope one. And the human torch actually glows in the dark. So we're going to open this up right now. I just need my knife. Where's my knife? All right, so we got the handy dandy knife. I could have just did this with my hand, but I chose not to. Knife is just better. And let's see exactly what I got in this Marvel's Venomized box. This box cost uh, $20, man. $20. And they had a whole stock. I went to another game stop, but I didn't film it in. That's why the story I will be telling after this one, after showing this about the PS5. So let's see. We'll try not to look at the pop itself. Let you guys look first. If I can get this thing open. So here we go. Let's see if I get which which pop did I get in this one here. Let me check it out. Oh, let's go. Got the human torch. Yes, sir. Glow in the dark. Yes, sir. Let's check him out. Dope, man. Dope. And I will uh, put a picture up on the screen of how his glow is in the dark right there. Yo, this joint look fire. We, even without the glow, this joint is dope. Um, so yeah, check the side of the box out right there. Here's the rest of the set that you can collect. Like I said before, I want the thing as well. So I might go back because next month uh, in December, I got $5 off. So I'll be able to get one of these boxes for $15. Well, probably $16 and some change. If... It still have any left, but both locations that I went to had a gang in stock, so I'm not too worried about finding another one, you know. But yeah, let's check out the Human Torch, man. This joint look crack. Definitely dope, man. Definitely dope. And then what else we got in here? We got a Fantastic Four sticker, which will be going on my desk. Let's check that out. And then we got a, a, a venomized pen. That is dope. Definitely dope, man. Definitely dope like that. And then we got a venomized Galactus. Little mini pop. Focus camera. There we go. So check that out. And he looked dope as well. They should make a regular size Funko Pop of him. I would buy that one. So that looked dope. And then last but not least, we got a Pez. And this is a Venomized Dr. Doom. So this will go over there with the rest of my Pez that I got in my collection. Definitely is dope, man. Check that out. So, this box is cool, man. I like it. For $20, you get five items. Oops, I dropped the sticker. All right, so you get a keychain pop, 
little mini pop. You get a Pez right there. You get a sticker. They give you a pen. And then you get a regular size four inch Funko Pop. For $20, this is worth the money. And this will make a great holiday gift. So if you don't know what to buy, someone who collects Funko Pops, buy in one of these boxes, man. These boxes ain't bad. Buy in one of these, you know, if they still got them available, check on GameStop.com. And I'm pretty sure I will be able to get another one. Like I said, I do want the thing. Um, and I'd rather just pay retail for them. So I'm going to try my luck again with another box. i probably even go before, before the first because I just want to get one and see if I can get the thing sooner than that. And I will bring that to you guys when that becomes available. Now. Let's get into this crazy story. I'm not going to take too much of your time because we are already shooting at close to 14 minutes in this video. And if you've been following along this long of the way, then congratulations to you. And I definitely would appreciate, I definitely appreciate you for doing that right there. This story right here, man. I went into another GameStop location, walked in. Um, this is my local GameStop. You know what I mean? The next town over from where I stay at. Walked in. And I know somebody that worked in it. This, this this had nothing at all to do with how I obtained this PlayStation. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? I just so happened to be, I walked in at the right time. I asked a simple question. Do you have a PS5 in stock? I know this is an outrageous question to ask because I know that the store only had two in stock. And you know what the lady told me? She said, we got one more. We actually got three in stock. So, I said, what? You got to be kidding me. She was like, no, I'm not playing. We actually got another one in the back. You know, we can't just tell people that it's available. You have to ask her. So, I just so happened to ask. She went to the back. She grabbed the PlayStation. It's, it's people in the store. They're looking at me crazy like, how is he buying a PlayStation when they released this morning? And this is like 2.33 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm moving and grooving. I'm sliding. I'm gliding. Now I mean, I'm doing what I do. And I pay for my PlayStation. I feel the tension as I am walking out of the store. People are grilling the shit out of me. Like, yo, it's time to get him. Like, I, that's how I felt like I was about to get jumped for it. Like... You know, so I, I walk out the store, I holding in my smile, my happiness, my joy. You know, you know how some things you just, you hold you hold in because you don't want to make others mad. You can feel, you know what I mean, they madness being pressed onto you. And I felt that. So uh, as I get out that door, there's people still waiting in line. And I walked past a couple of people and it was like, Yo, that's a PS5? And I was like, yeah. And it was like, they got more in there? I was like, nah, I bought the last one. It was like, what? I just got in my car and I drove home. So, without further ado, man, the most best ever Black Friday come up. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, yo. This shit is crazy. Like, I did not expect none of this to happen. I swear to you guys. The employee that works there has nothing to do with me getting this PS5. I just so happened to walk in this GameStop and just ask a simple question. And they had an extra one available. So this is how I obtained it. I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. Oh, my God, man. I am so happy, yo. You don't know how much hassle I went through to get this joint right here. From Walmart.com to Target.com to Best Buy. Whatever site that was releasing these joints, man. I could not get one. They would not let me check out for nothing. They was like, no sir, re Bob, you're not getting that. You need to just chill, son. Sit down. Have a seat. And I was like, come on, man. Let me just get one. I just want one. I didn't care if it was the digital or... The, the disc version. I did not care. I just wanted one. 
And I'm happy that I got it. I got it, man. I got this shit. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's go, baby. So without further ado, I bring you guys the PS5. Bang, bang. <laughs> got it. <he. laughs> got it. <he. laughs>